Good morning, everyone! Welcome back to Story of Seasons Trio of Towns, and we are getting ready to finally see our new farm with Uncle Frank! I'm so excited! This has been what we've been waiting for for several days now. Ah, <sighs> morning, Siri. Don't we look all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed today? That's exactly why I picked the bright-eyed face a few days ago. Yes, that's no surprise. We're off to see the new farm, after all. Anybody would be excited about that. Oh, I'm, I am so excited. I love that you can see the plant in his hat. That's just so cool. Alrighty, I won't keep you waiting any longer then. Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to see the farm that we are going to be making our own and our contest against Ma Nature, as Uncle Frank put it. Your farm is straight down this way and then straight again for a little, whiles mo or a little ways more after the bridge. I hope you don't mind, but it'll be a bit of a walk to get there. No problem, Uncle Frank. I mean, I'm getting a free farm. That's that's kind of a big deal. All right, let's see what's here. Come on, Uncle Frank. Does it? <gasps> More green! Oh my gosh, what's that? That looks like a different type of fencing. Oh wow, look at that. There's like feathers hanging over the gate. This is so pretty. Where are we? Is this the path to the different towns? Why are the bridges broken? Do I need to fix those? Give me a hammer. I've got this, Uncle Frank. Ha, huh, the gates? Those gates lead all the way to the other two towns in the area. They're both under construction. They need some touch-ups. Once they're done, you'll be able to get to the other towns. That sounds awesome! Look at the feathers! I love all these details! This here's the road that leads to your farm. So when he said like it was a bit of a walk, we're completely out of all three of the towns. But there's a really pretty waterfall where the paths meet too. That's just so sweet. I wonder if I can go visit all three of them on the same day and collect different wildflowers. That would be so fun. I wonder who's going to enjoy the wildflowers the most. I probably will make the best friends with them. Oh, look at me. I'm so excited. Just running by. Just like real life Siri. <gasps> Is this my farm? It's huge! And it's already got a coop and, and it's already got a little barn? And trees and flowers? This is so awesome! We'll show dad. I've got to get the fattest, happiest keepabara and biggest turnips ever. And is that my house? Well. Well. You know what? I'm excited. Look at her. She's just thrilled. We're not going to be put down. We, you got to start somewhere and then build your way up. That's the beauty of it. Well, here we are. This is your farm. Nice and big, ain't it? This place has always been a farm, but there wasn't anybody around to take care of it for the last couple decades. I fixed it up enough to make it livable, but that's about it. Got it, Uncle Frank. Ah, well. Say, I know. Since this place is all yours now, how about you give it a name? Oh boy. Alright, I've got to name my farm. I always end up naming a moss leaf farm, but it doesn't look like there's enough room for that whatsoever. Um, let's see... Let's see. Yep, there's not very much room at all. There's just like moss, and then normally I name it Mossly Farm, but there's clearly not enough room. Um, how about Glen? Glade? Shadow Tree? I, I just really want something nice and refreshing. Let's go with... Yeah, let's just go with Glen. So we'll go with... Uh, oh man, if I could fit Glen Leaf. Nope, we can just go with Glen. So we're gonna go with... Glen, tree, flower, pink, bird, burb. <laughs> Can we do burb? Burb farm. <laughs> That's actually gonna be kind of cute. <laughs> oh, that would be adorable. Man, you really don't have enough symbols to be able to do much with. And to see, um, all right. So I think we're gonna go ahead and we'll just name this this Glade. Can I name it Glade? I can name it Glade. Um, hmm, hmm, why does this have to be so hard? Why can't I just pick something? We'll, we'll, we'll just go with, you know what, Burb Farm actually sounds kind of cute. Burb, Burb, hmm. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go with Burb Farm because that's all I can fit. Burb Farm, that's the name you're going with? Yes, because it sounds kind of ridiculous, but it would fit. I can have lots of birds and then you can be like, it's the Burb Farm, um, Huh, uh, no, I, 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 I wimped out. I'm too serious for that. Gosh darn my serious personality. All right, let's go with, um, type of bird. Uh, iwi? I mean, I do love the iwi and I saw him in Hawaii. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, an iwi is kind of interesting because it's spelled 
like this, we do a double I right after each other. So that doesn't work either. Guys, I'm sorry, this is so hard for me. Green, can I just go with Glade? Oh, let's just go with Glade. I think like Green Glade. We're gonna call it Green Glade Farm. But no, Glade, there we go. There we go, we'll go with Glade. And the full name is Green Glade Farm. All right, Glade Farm. Glade Farm, eh? That's a mighty fine name. Now that you've been given the place, now that you've given the place a name, let's go take a look at the house, shall we? Oh, look at my little house. Can I paint it? I want to put flowers on it. Ah, the deep breath of having a fresh start in a new Harvest Moon game, which usually means you have to do a lot of cleaning and hard work, but it just feels so good when you turn around and you've really accomplished a lot. You've built something from the ground up. And then I really feel like that with pretty much everything in life. Harvest Moon games are what gave me the inspiration, no matter how hard things were or how tough stuff was, to remember that showing up every day and harvesting your turnips a day, well, you can still change your life, even if it's just little things like that. Sorry I couldn't put together a nicer house for you like this. Farms ain't exactly cheap to clean up though, you know? Didn't have that much left to spend on the house itself. But hey, if you work hard and save up a little money, you'll be able to renovate it to your heart's content. Thank you, Uncle Frank. I'm just glad for a roof over my head, to be honest. Anyway, as of today, this is your new home. I made sure to put some basic furniture in. Here, let me explain it to you. My bed! Oh, the quilt looks like it could definitely use a good scrub. This here's your bed. Go right up to it and press the A button to sleep. Real simple, right? That's your bookshelf. You can read up on some farm and basics using the books in there. If you ever trip over something you don't quite understand, come here to check first. Oh, it's a little calendar! Here we have your calendar. It'll have schedules for the week and the month on it. This is your storage box. If you find your rucksack getting a little too full, you can stuff it in here. Okay. And last but not least, your toolbox. If there's tools you ain't using, throw them in here for safekeeping. Well, that about sums it up. You can try everything else out for yourself later. For now, let's get back to the farm. All right, thank you, Uncle Frank. Right. Right then, now let me teach you how to raise crops and do other basic everyday chores. Oh, farm lessons! Farm lessons 101, I'm so excited! Though to be honest, right now I ain't have a, I ain't having a clue about what you do and don't know already. So how about you ask me uh, what you want to know and I'll explain it to you. Sound good? Alright, we've got this. So what do you want to know about? Um, Let's go with raising crops to start there. Alrighty, now listen up. Let's see. Wow. To raise crops, you have to till the soil with the hoe, plant the seeds, and then water the seeds with the watering can. And I read in the little manual that comes with Story of Seasons, Trio of Towns, that you can actually water your crops twice a day to help them grow faster. Like they say, easier to learn by doing. So instead of me standing here talking to you, have the hoe. All right. There we go. My first tool. Very important tool for getting those seeds in the ground. The field to the right is what it looks like when it's already tilled. Now go ahead and use that there hoe on the field to the left a few times and till it. All you've got to do is equip the hoe and press the A button. You can also press and hold the A button to till several times in a row. Handy that. Now go and give it a try. Alright. So here we are. Oh, I'm free! Okay. Eh. Eh. Go. Oh, it's so cute. Why is it so cute? It's adorable. Oh, look, you put seeds down. Not bad, not bad. Looks like you know your way around a hoe. Next up is planting seeds. Here, have a bag. All right, so we've got a little bag. Oh, those turnips, I recognize them. The field to the right is what it looks like when the seeds have already been planted. Now go ahead and plant some of those seeds in the field to the left. All you gotta do is equip the seeds and press the A button. All right, we got this. All right, so we're standing here, and unlike the other Harvest Moon games, I think you just have to stand right in the center, and it immediately does nine tiles, which is so nice. That's the ticket. You got the hang of that real quick. All right, and now let's do the watering. Something tells me it's just standing in the field and hitting the A button. I think I got this, Uncle Frank. I'm a natural. All right, all right. Yep. And... dun dun, -dun. Oh, that's so cute. Are they going to grow? Insta-grow, maybe? Good work. You've got a real knack for this. 
you'll want to keep watering your crops every day until they reach the point where you can harvest them. Just so you know, you don't have to water crops on rainy days or during typhoons. I would hope not during a typhoon, Uncle Frank. The weather does that for you. If you don't water your crops, they'll start to wilt and eventually dry up and die. You don't want that to happen, so be vigilant. Alright, got it, Uncle Frank. Thank you. And that's all I got to tell you about raising crops. Alright, so that's raising crops. Uh, pretty straightforward. And then let's try harvesting, I imagine, is just straight up. Okay. Yeah, you just... Yep, yep, yep. Normal, just picking at it. And then let's see quality and fertilizer. Alrighty, now listen up. Crops have different types of qualities to them. Oh my gosh, this is more qualities than I've ever seen for a crop before. <laughs> Color, sweetness or aroma, juiciness and size. If you want to improve one or another of those qualities, you have to use the correct fertilizer for it. You can find fertilizer for sale at most general stores. Try using some. And that's about all I've got to tell you about fertilizers. All right, so if you increase those different attributes in your crops, then you will be able to sell them for higher amounts of money. And I bet there's probably a few festivals where you can submit your crops for competition. So that's good to know, Uncle Frank. All right, so let's see. Um, recovering stamina, basic controls. I can probably figure out the bag and the quick equipped. And let's try farm buildings. Let's see. The mailbox right over here. Oh, that's my mailbox. It's so cute. <laughs> Just a tiny little thing. You'll get stuff like notices of new products from stores and letters from residents. Oh, people send me letters. Whenever there's new mail in your box, you'll see an exclamation point above it. Gotcha. All right, Uncle Frank. Water source. That would be my little, my little well right there. Very nice looking. He clearly installed a good one. Got to fill up the watering can. Got it. Got it. And then barn and coop. See, and this is why I picked veteran mode. I think I have some of these basics down and I've never even played before. But there's some things that my nature just likes to be pretty routine about. Alright, barn and coop. I can't believe he already built us a barn and coop. That's awesome. No animals, but we can go to the animal shop. So the animal shop will sell cows and chickens. Alright, once you've bought some for yourself, I'll come over the next day and teach you how to take care of them. Good to know. Thank you, Uncle Frank. And that's about all I've got to tell you about farm buildings. All right, I think that's good then. Uh, we'll just check getting materials. You're gonna need lumber, lots of it, for building things, renovating your house, all kinds of stuff, really. If you want, you could raise trees on your field and chop them down. Or you could go to the material store and buy some. But there's an easier way than all that fuss. Have a look over there. Over where? Over where, Uncle Frank? I see a log! You can use an axe to chop sticks like that into lumber. Equip an axe and hit the A button. Alright, you can go ahead and chop sticks into lumber on the spot, or you can forge up a lot of them to chop all at once later, either or. You're probably going to need them eventually, so probably best to forge up any sticks you see. Got it. Wow, look at our farm, it's so cute! You can use your axe to chop down big trees like that to turn them into sticks. And then I think you can actually turn the area that the trees and those rocks that you see are on into fields. So you can have fields for growing crops or fields for fodder to release your animals in. But be careful, trees are sturdy and axes are heavy. Chopping them down takes a lot of stamina, so keep an eye on yours. Got it, Uncle Frank. And that's all I got to tell you about getting materials. All right, I think that covers pretty much everything. I think stamina is just going to be uh, food. Well, your place doesn't have a kitchen, so there's no way you can cook up your own meals just yet. But don't worry, but don't you worry none. There are a few other ways you can recover your stamina. You can forge up food to eat, buy it from the grocer, or buy a full meal at the restaurant. Whatever you want to eat, just dig into your bag and pick out something edible. Got it, Uncle Frank. Just so you know, when you eat a prepared meal, not only do you get some food, some stamina back, but you may also get a special food power. There's all kinds of food powers. I had no idea they were like buffs on the food too. Some make it harder for you to lose stamina. Some make you move faster, like coffee. Lots of stuff. You're not going to get super strong effects from everything though. Easier dishes won't give you that big a boost. I wonder if I could make a game out of trying to cook up some of the fancier foods. That would be so cool. Which dishes give what powers? That's something you'll just have to find out for yourself. If you come across any new dish or recipe, I reckon it's a, it's a good idea to try it out at least once to see what it does. Alright, got it Uncle Frank, thank you. Alright, so I think we've learned everything we want to from Uncle Frank. Alrighty, for now how about I give you a set of basic tools any beginning farmer will need. To know, will need. Here you are. 
Oh, and a little something extra for you. 2,000 gold. Consider it an allowance from me. Man, Uncle Frank has taken better care of me than my dad did. But I guess dad is one of those, like, start from the very bottom and climb your way up bootstrap sort of guys. All right. Oh, and radish seeds. Potato bread. Oh, Uncle Frank, you're really making sure I'm set. He's so nice. I got some tools. I should look in my bag and check what they are. I totally will do that. All right. And then, there we go. Also, I'm sure you already know this, but just to be sure, make sure you don't accidentally throw away any of your tools, like your hoe or watering can. But if you do accidentally throw one away, you can save up some money and go buy a new one from the general store. Got it, Uncle Frank. Thank you. If you ever want me to teach you any of this again, just come on over and talk to me any day before noon. I'm perfectly happy to teach you, so you need to come over, uh, so come on over and ask me as many times as you need. Got it, Uncle Frank. Also, I have the bookshelf inside. I remember. Alrighty. For now, how about you stick to the basic farming routine of raising crops and selling them to make some money? I'll keep an eye on how you're doing and decide if you've got what it takes to become a farmer. You can take some crops you've harvested and put them in the shipping box over there to sell them for money. Wow, that's a big shipping box. <laughs> it kind of announces itself, doesn't it? Every day at about uh, 1700, somebody from town will mosey on up and collect what you've got in the box. So about five. The money you've earned from these cells will be added to your wallet the next morning. All right, got it. The basics. In another life, I have been a farmer before, Uncle Frank, I promise you. Right, I'll be heading home then. I know this has got to seem overwhelming, Siri, but do your best, okay? Not at all, Uncle Frank. Like I said, another life. Been a farmer before. I got this. Pixelated farming's my thing. Oh, and we got a little title. Okay, you guys, so there are actually, and let me see if I can find where the heck I'm supposed to look at them. So here's where you can save, got it. And then, oh, I'm running all around. Okay, and I think there's also, what's this? Can I not open that yet? What about this? This is, oh, my tools. Okay, so here are our tools. So capacity, range, weight, effectiveness, gotcha, gotcha. And then let me see, what else do I have over here? What's in my bag? Radish seeds! It looks like I have five radish seeds and ten potato bread that my uncle has given me. They're not very high quality, but that's okay. Look how pretty! Oh, I'm so excited! Okay, okay, we've got this. We've got this. Here's my fields! Okay, so we have got our very first field, you guys, and we've got some radish seeds, so why not do something useful with them? We're going to grab our hoe and start working on making a good tilled field. All right, there we go. Maybe I should work on, like, one thing at a time. So there's that, come on, how do I, I wonder how I change. Oh, there we go, okay, radish seeds. And then I'm gonna put them here, nice. And then I wanna swatch over to my watering can. I've got this. Oh, it's my, it's empty. I told you guys, another life. I actually um, have been mini, mini a pixel farmer. So I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to do this. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and try getting this area. I'm gonna run out of stamina if I'm not careful. Oh, but that's okay, because guess what? Guess what I have, you guys? We have, and let's grab the radish seeds. We happen to have some potato bread. So we may actually eat our potato bread really soon, but that'll, that'll be worth it, because we can probably forage up some wild stuff. And getting the radish seeds planted is super important. So if I come this way, so those are the radish seeds. Oh, and I can jump. I keep forgetting I can jump. This is so exciting. Now we're finally, after several times, let's go ahead and eat and drink. How many? You can command, oh, you can decide how many potato breads you wanna eat. Okay, let's try eating one potato bread. Wow, look at that. It actually filled up quite a bit of our stamina. That's really useful to know. All right, let's see. I'm gonna use the hoe again. We've got potato bread, might as well, cause it seems like tilling is the most difficult part. Okay, there's that. I, I want to be careful I don't pass out on my first day, especially because the doctor is away at his conference. And then I can say I want to eat another one. Look at that. That is so cool. So you can also register? What the heck does register do? Interesting. And you can also unregister. You can also hold. So what happens if I hold it? <gasps> I'm just holding a bunch of potato bread on my head. That's so cute. Okay, all done. I just had to try that out because that was that was so interesting. So my uncle has left me alone on the farm. And I believe I need to prove that I can at least get started with some of the harder stuff of farming. There we go. And he's given me plenty of food. So I wonder 
if you can actually register. Oh, and look at that! So cool! Yeah, I wonder if there's an easier way to register being able to eat quickly too. So we'll have to look into that. All right, radish seeds. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. See, and that didn't use any stamina. Good to know. Ha! And I am a good little responsible farmer. Look at me getting this nicely taken care of. Who even knows? Oh, there's there's where I can see what time it is. So it's almost noon and I have spent my first day on the farm. My very own farm all by myself. Working really hard at watering all of my plants. I'm definitely going to need to collect up some wild plants if I'm going to be able to take care of everything though. But look at this! My first crops! I'm so happy! Oh, grow little seedlings, grow! And let's take a good look at our farm. So here are my barn and chicken coops. I'm not sure how to go inside of them. I'm really not sure how to go inside of them. This is interesting. Is there like a little gate or something that I can get into? Oh! Oh! I jump over the fence! That makes so much sense! That makes so much sense! Look at the chicken coop! And I hear you actually have to like clean out the chicken coop too. Oh, and there's an animal notebook. It's used to keep track of our animals. Uh, I want to check the animal notebook. And I don't have- Oh, you can actually change the building's name? <gasps> That's so cool! Well, I don't have anything I want to name it right now, but I could give like- uh, Yes, coop is correct. So I could give the buildings, the barn and the coop themselves could have names. So cool. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> it's a wild mint on my own farm? Oh, I'm so, oh, and there's a weed on my farm. I'll pluck that up too. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What else is on my farm? Oh, another mint. You guys, you can run around collecting up things. Like, oh, 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 oh. what was that? Large tree nymph? Wait, do you mean, was there like, <gasps> they mean the butterfly. I found a large tree nymph, but what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean that I just discovered a thing? I don't understand. I, I can't wait till I can understand. So maybe, was it the butterfly? Did I catch a butterfly just then? Let's check my bag. I see potato bread. I see mint, um, which we can get 40 gold for. Uh, I see the weeds. Plant that uh, plants that spring up unbidden on the side of the road. They live proudly with no regrets. We should all be so lucky. That's adorable. <laughs> that is so adorable. And then I think there's actually, yeah, look at description. Mint, an herb with an invigorating aroma, causes the insides of the mouth to feel refreshed when eaten. A wild plant. And then potato bread, bread made by baking flour dough mixed with mashed potatoes. Ah, oh, noted, noted. Oh, this is so cool. So you really want to investigate all these little plants because you might find things. Oh, 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 another weed. <gasps> it's a flower. My very first flower, a moondrop flower. What does it look like? Oh, tell me all about the moondrop. There we go. A yellow flower that blooms in fields. It has a lovely scent. Oh, it's so cool. So I've already got some herbs. I've already got a flower. Oh, the biome backyard is so full of beautiful things. More flowers. <gasps> oh, I'm so, I found a common butterfly. A citrus swallowtail. Can I catch them? Or I guess you just like look at the bugs too. Oh, thrilling, thrilling. Am I supposed to be able to go over there? Probably as time goes on. All right, so this is my little corner down here. So what, and more weeds and more mint. So you actually get to forge around and dig up plants in what looks like the natural little plant sections. That's so fun. So it's not just like a specialized area and it doesn't stand out immensely. A piggyback locust. So I'm finding all sorts of bugs. What am I gonna do with the bugs, I wonder? All right, so what's over here? I wonder if something is going to be built up over there at some point in the future too. So that's my farm. I guess I need to ship some of the stuff that I've been uh, collecting up. And then um, I wanna put items in the shipping box. All right, so let's go ahead and let's try selling um, the mint, even though I could probably save it to give to people because that would give me a little bit of money. And then I'll keep the moondrop flowers though. My very first moondrop flowers, we can save those to give to people, try to befriend ourselves to the villagers. So this leads to the crossroads. <gasps> it's a cat, it's a cat, it's a kitty cat. Oh my gosh, it's a wild kitty cat. We're playing with a wild cat, you guys. <gasps> Look at all the wild animals. Oh my goodness, there's a fox. There's a wild, I, I, I'm holding, guys. Guys, I'm holding a wild fox next to a waterfall with flowers everywhere. There's another one! There's another wild fox! What am I gonna do with all of them? 
this is the best. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I found a coma butterfly. And I don't even know what that was. I just picked up an unknown thing. Is it, it what, what the heck, what the heck did I just, it's a walnut. I found a walnut. <gasps> I am so happy right now. A blue magic flower and a puppy. There's just a puppy hanging out here too. I don't even know where to begin to process all of what's happening. And there's a path to another town. What is this? It's a hoverfly. What is this? It's a mongoose. You guys, fields of mongoose and wildflowers. A rice grasshopper. Oh, I'm so happy. Walnuts, rice grasshoppers, honeybees. I hope some of this stuff grows back. Oh, dirt grasshopper, the wild cat again. I'm blown away. There's just little weeds popping up. There's just wild animals. There's just wild animals all around me. I don't even, I don't even know where to begin thinking about how amazing this is. Let's run up to Southwest Town. I want to give, oh my gosh, there's just animals roaming everywhere. Who's this person? People call my singing voice the four octaves miracle. Any performance I appear at is a full house guaranteed. Oh my goodness. Stagecoach stop. Doesn't seem to be open right now. There's a gigantic dog that's just roaming around. What is happening? What is my life? What is this? There's goats and sheep sheep and oh my goodness. I think this is, oh my gosh. Cloudless giant sulfur. What am I, what am I even looking at with all of these animals? Like all these plants and animals. Look at this. I am so in love. This is my new happy place. Welcome. Welcome everyone. Trio of towns. And there was the yell of a hawk. Oh my gosh. And there's somebody walking towards me and there's another walnut. You guys, this is my new happy place. I can't even begin to express how beautiful I found a whole maple branch. And there's a whole wild bear. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, the pink lupin needs to grow in. I'm so happy right now. I don't even know where to begin. There's 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 different butterflies, swallowtails. Oh, my uncle. Uncle Stuff I don't like? I'd like to say that I ain't picky, but I ain't fond of little teensy fancy pants dishes. They look pretty, but they ain't much actual food. I like my meals to be filling. Can't work on an empty stomach, you hear? Oh my gosh, Uncle Frank! I'm feeling great today. Oh, that's so cool! And then I can just like... <gasps> that's so cool! I hit the L button just to say a quick hello to him, and I found a pebble. There's a whole pebble, Uncle Frank, on your yard. Uncle Frank, you've got, oh, oh, he's got like a whole field. He's just walking around doing his own thing. Okay, let's see if I can give him something. I want to give him a moondrop flower, one of my little moondrop flowers. I just want to hold one. And can I give it to him? Just one. That's that's all I want to, I want to give him just the one. For me, eh? That, thanks for the thought, Siri. That's awful kind of you. Please just tell me I gave him one. Oh, yes, I only gave him one. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Uncle Frank's happy cows. Everything is moving around and the whole place is like people are already scooching around. The whole place is acting like the fact that oh, there's more monkeys. <laughs> a yellow jacket. I definitely don't want to mess with that. That's a really that's a really intense kind of wasp. And here's Marco. Off running errands at this hour. Don't stay out too late now, you hear? You'll make your uncle worry. That's so cool. I thought I'd have to close down my restaurant when I retired, but then Brad, uh, Brad volunteered to take over. I just watched him catch a fish! My jaw's on the ground, because everything is so dynamic and alive, and I am so in love with all of it, and I think Lizette just ran by, and Lizette, I have a, I have a plant. Lizette! 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 I was just thinking about what flowers to put in the satchel by my pillow tonight. That's something I always look forward to at bedtime. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. Lizette, hold still. Lizette, Lizette, I need to give you a flower. I'm so excited, Lizette. I want to give everybody flowers. Oh, thank you so much for the wonderful present. That's so sweet of you. Oh, I'm so excited. Everybody's so friendly and everybody... I watched somebody. There's another cat. There's just wild plants everywhere. <gasps> there's more. Oh, oh, I'm finding bugs. I'm finding flowers. This is the, one of the most exciting days I've had in so long. Oh my gosh. Can I feed the little mongoose walnuts? Is that something I can do? Okay, I'm going to hold the walnut and I'm going to see. Can I feed it to them? Oh, no, I just put it on the ground. That's not what I intended. If you're not going to eat it. Wait, did I just pet him? Did I just pet the little one? Hi. Did I, or did I give you the walnut? 
I'm not sure. I gave him a walnut! You can feed them! You can give them things! This is a tree! This is a tree! It's a plum tree! It's growing things! Oh, you guys. I'm too excited. Who's this guy? I gotta say hello to him. Hector. Ah, heard about you from Ma. The name's Hector. How do you do? Oh, so I think he's the elder son then. Oh, and he's off. All right. Bye, Hector. Nice to meet ya. Oh, <laughs> you always look so eager. Oh, that's so cool that you can just like hit L as you run by and say hello to him that way. What about over here? Ain't a bad day today. That's so sweet. So let's go in and say hello to Elder Megan, who has a gigantic dog. <gasps> I'm so excited. That's Buddy the dog. He's huge. And Megan? Good evening, Siri. Did you get uh, uh, did you get done everything you wanted today? Even if you didn't, there's always tomorrow. We're a family of farmers too, so if there if there's ever anything you don't understand, come on over. We'll be happy to help. Oh, that's so fun. Let's give Megan a flower, and then I said a quick hello to her just by hitting L. That's so much fun. There's so many different ways to talk to everybody. All right, I'm gonna give her this flower. Ah, this is for me. Hmm? Thanks for the thought, Siri. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm in love. There's animals that roam around. There are people who do their own thing. They don't just stay stagnant in one area. They clearly have their own schedules and things they're working on. Oh, little Colin, are you a painter, young sir? Oh, Colin? See, they have their own schedules. They're not going to wait for me to chat to them. Who are you, miss? You're Siri, Mr. Frank's relative? Oh, um, my name's Colin. It's nice to meet you. Oh, he's so cute. Let's try giving him something. Do I have anything that he might enjoy? Uh, maybe a flower? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to be known as like Lizette the second because I'm just handing everybody flowers. Oh, wow. I really like these. Thank you, Siri. Oh, good. I'm, I'm doing good with Colin. I can only assume maybe she he's Megan's um grandson, probably. And they're sitting down to their own private family dinner. This is so cool. Even the dog was eating at his food dish. Okay. Clearly, this is one of the most amazing things I have ever experienced in my life. I'm having a fantastic time. There's just wild cats and dogs and mong geese and who knows what else roaming around. This is going to be fantastic, you guys. I don't even know where to begin, but we're going to go back down to Glade Farm. And I am going to curl up for the night in my nice, comfortable bed. In the morning, we will be back home. Hopefully, oh, there's my radishes. Hopefully, tending to my radishes and getting ready to discover more of the town. I'm already loving the mechanics and the dynamics and I just cannot wait to share more of it with you guys. So for now, back into my itty bitty teeny tiny somewhat scary little home and from these humble humble roots we shall grow an absolutely beautiful farm and a fantastic adventure together. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!